Jesus, and a beautiful day to you. You are welcome to Psalm for the Day, reaching out to you from RCCG Central Parish, Abuja. And our Psalm for today is taken from the book of Psalm chapter 9, verse 17 to verse 20. Psalm chapter 9, verse 17 to verse 20. And it says, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the hidden be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. We're going to consider three things in this psalm, Psalm chapter 9, verse 17 to 20. The first one is, remember there is God. Number one, remember there is God. The second one is, remember you are a man. Remember you are a man. And then number three is, remember to call upon God. From where we read in that Psalm chapter 9, verse 17, it says that the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. The wicked is that person who has no regard for the living God. He is more self-conscious than God-conscious. He doesn't obey the word of God, neither does he live his or her life by the principles of God. The wicked, the Bible says, shall be turned into hell. In that psalm that we read, the end of the wicked is hell, not heaven. It says the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God those who do not retain God in their knowledge, those who despise the existence of God, those who do not think about God, those who do not live their lives to please the living God, those who live by their own ways, filled with their own ways, doing things in their own ways without recourse to God. The Bible says they will be turned into hell. And Romans chapter 1, verse 21 to 23 and verse 28 to 32 tell us about who the wicked is how the wicked lives and the judgment that god will bestow upon them i read romans chapter 1 verse 21 it says because that when they knew god they glorified him not as god neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened professing themselves to be wise they became fools. Verse 28 now says, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to reprobate mind, to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Those who do not retain God in their knowledge, those who despise the existence of God. He says the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. Number two is that you should remember you are a man. Remember you are a man. From that Psalm chapter 9 verse 18 says, For the needy shall not always be forgotten, the expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. The needy shall not always be forgotten. Remember that you are a man that needs God. You are a man that is in need of a God, your creator. It is when you remember that you are a man that you need God, that you can see the hand of God in your life and his manifestation in your life. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 5, it says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 
Are you poor in the spirit? Are you meek in spirit? Are you lowly in spirit? Do you yield your heart to God as in need of Him? Do you lift up your eyes to call upon Him in your times of trouble? The Bible says in Psalm chapter 121, David says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who makes heaven and earth. So that is the call to you today. Remember that you are a man in need of a God, the true God, the real God, and you must take time to call upon him. He says, the needy shall not always be forgotten. The poor shall be remembered. So when you call upon him as in need of his help in your home, in your marriage, in your business, in your ministry, in your health, anytime you have a need, don't look to man, but look to God and call upon him. And it's also saying to someone that it does not matter the oppression of the oppressor. There is a God in heaven who rules over all men. No matter how strong a man is to oppress or to prevail over another man, there is a God in heaven who is there to fight for other men. Those who are helpless, those who are vulnerable. There is God in heaven who will fight for them. So remember that you are a man and you need God and also remember that you should not oppress other men because God says he will not abandon those who are oppressed. He will not abandon the poor. He will fight for them. So be in the camp of God, align with God to help other people as a man because you have received help from God. That is why you are where you are. That is why you have what you have. So you should also learn to use that help to help other people to use what you have, your resources, your authority, your position, your power, all that you have, use it to help other men and to lift them up. That is how you can align with God. That is how you can cooperate with God to help other people. And then number three is that you should remember to call upon God. As we see David here, the psalmist, calling upon God in that Psalm chapter 9, verse 19 and 20. Verses 19 and 20 it says, Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. You want to lift your voice and pray for yourself and say, Lord, arise. Arise, O Lord, and let man not prevail against me. Arise, O Lord, and judge the hidden who are oppressing the righteous, oppressing your children, oppressing the vulnerable. Lord, we pray, we call upon you. You will arise and fight for us in the name of Jesus. Put them in fear that rise against us. Arise in your power and defend us. I pray for you in that name that is above every other name. God will arise for you. He will fight for you against the oppressor, against the wicked adversary, against every hidden, against everyone walking contrary to God's plans and purpose for your life, in your place of work, in your home, in your family, in your marriage. God will fight for you. He will prevail against the wicked rising and opposing you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Thank you for joining us for today's broadcast. Have a glorious and a wonderful day. God bless you.